Well, time to take a crack at another Arge Maker game from Steam. Admittedly, this one tries to sell itself with some sex appeal. Hopefully there's a, a decent game underneath that as well, I can hope. Though from what I've been told, all the stuff in here is basically like bikinis, effectively. There might be some not safe for work patch, I don't know. And even if there was, I obviously wouldn't use it. Earned peace, huh? Savior Village just isolated from the rest of the world. This village stories have been passed down for generations, speaking of the war between the sides of chaos and order. Time when darkness cast a shadow over the humans of the world. The god of chaos compelled humans of the world into submitting to their greatest weakness, fear, hate, envy, lust, and vanity. In a bid to empower the good and humanity, Kami, the god of order and light, fought Erverus and battled the hollow's influence over the humans before falling into the hollow darkness. According to the village legend, after defeating Averse and Balakai, used the last of his power to imbue his sword, the gods tier, with the power to fell gods. Kami entrusted the sword to a man from Shinsea, who was most courageous and pure of hearts. Kami foretold, when evil returns, a hero will awaken this shining blade of light that will cut and devour the darkness. Ever since protect the hidden the sword for 2,000 years, waiting for a hero will wield the blade. Recently, all over the world, people are once again giving into their base desires as the world descends into darkness. A new evil has arisen to the world and is feeding off the corruption, greed, and fear in humanity. Edge does not yet know of this, but he will soon. His story is now yours. And this is why I hate text scrolls. At the start of these games, they tend to be too fast, so you have to basically speed read. Which means you can't really put a lot of emphasis on it and make it sound as great as it should. Like, if you're gonna do that, you might as well have someone record it for you so they can go a bit slower. Because I'm sure me speaking like that was pretty sloppy sounding at points. Ugh, I don't need to know that. You know how many of these games I've played? Hundreds! Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's a lot. Oh, I guess he's dead, huh? I'm just gonna assume that was his ghost. Well, at least we we're given an answer. Protect the tier, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some other game I played before you gotta use God's Tears. Never seen that night before. I must have passed out. At least they put in the effort to do some original character designs, I guess. <laughs> That's it's it's better than nothing, but most of those other graphics we've seen so far, yeah, pretty standard. Uh, and this is why most people don't like spending a lot of money on RPG Maker games. They don't really create their own assets. They just use the default stuff and then build a really crappy story around it a lot of times. So we gotta see how this goes. Southwest, huh? Well, man, I don't want to go to the graveyard. You ever think of that game? What, do I gotta go south first before I can go west? Okay. What's this? Oh, a maze to get to the graveyard? Nice. Uh. Gosh darn it. This is not fun. Like, there's nothing to fight. And if you take the wrong path, you get thrown out. So you basically have to memorize it. That's not fun. It's just tedious bullshit to pad the game out. Like, you must work out the right path. Hope you're good at memorizing things. Well, we found a treasure chest, at least. And found the ocean, apparently. Adventurer's garb, huh? I don't know why I need to equip it. You'd think I'd be wearing something much more powerful than that based on the character's image. What the? Someone dug up a grave. And stole stuff. Serenity's father. Jenna? You guys buried a dog out here? Well, I guess we know what Serenity is then. <laughs> 
Unreadable. That's terrible. Lucius. Better not be named Knives in his middle name or something. Thought you'd check up on her, huh? Can't imagine there's still much to check up on. I assume he's dead. Seriously. I'll find Dad, I promise. What's this? What's her bangle doing on top of her grave? Wait, wait, go back. There's a shiny thing. I must have the shiny thing. What's the shiny thing? What's what's a hundred crystals? Oh, it's money. Why do I buy things with crystals? Okay, I, I guess that's a key item, huh? Why would she leave it at her grave? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. The game's already making me scratch my head. We just started. And yeah, this side battle stuff just doesn't work in these games. Because you're super tiny and don't match the image of the enemies at all. So it just looks off-putting. Well, apparently we can't hurt each other. Or can we? Okay, so I guess I missed that first time. And that sword animation just looks so dumb. Cause he's not even holding the sword. And he's waving it back and forth like someone pretending they're a Jedi. Ugh, man. Alright, I have so much to gripe about, and I just started! <laughs> now what's going on? Edge, where have you been? Soldiers have invaded the village and gone north of the sacred tower. I think they're trying to take the gods tier. Woman, put some clothes on. <laughs> Just try and stop us. Yeah, this looks awful. I don't even know what she just used there. Though apparently their weapons barely hurt me with the adventurer garb on. I guess those are brass knuckles. Yeah. I really don't know how to keep her alive unless guarding helps with cover HP or something. No. I can drop the damage on her, but that's only so much help. Okay. We're gonna have to just take a chance on it. She hits too hard not to use her after all. Though we may have to heal her afterwards, or see if we can hit up the armor shop before we go to the tower. That'd be nice. Okay. Takes care of that lot. Who sent you? Where's your leader? Doesn't matter, so our lord will have the gods here, and there'll be no way to stop him! Let's go, Edge. Head north of the village and get to the tower. We've got to help stop them if we can. And then she ran off. Yeah, she's still my party, so what's the point of having her run off screen? Ugh, whatever. I don't care about your teddy. So... That would improve our stats, but I don't have anything I can really sell right now. That would get me up to enough levels to buy anything. Okay... And heading outside doesn't sound like it'd be fun right now. Fine, I'll stay for one night to heal up my partner. <sighs> but yeah, apparently this is the game's gimmick. You know, we'll, we'll have the women be half naked, and that'll make everyone happy, right? Oh man, gimmicks like that are kind of annoying. But I gotta see things through here. Okay, so that'd be plus two for everybody. Um, I want to improve her defense, though. Okay. Leather tub. That's just going to have to suffice for now, I suppose. Okay, is there a reason that even exists? Oh, a chest. 
potion, huh? Well, that's fine, I suppose, but... I'd want something a bit more valuable than that. Oh, a pub. Okay, why... Guarding the sacred wall? Well... So they didn't even set their uh, thing here, right? Oh, well, sacred wall. So yeah, their sprite changes based on what direction you're talking to them. Amateur mistake. Ugh. Apparently this applies to the passed out character, though. Ugh. Fine, I'll get out of your stupid bar. And I don't think there's really much anything else in town, so uh... Just move north, then. Serenity, wait! You still need to put your clothes on! <sighs> what the hell's going on? Everything was normal when I left this morning. Speaking of which, where did you go? Um, checked up on Mom. How is she? The same as always. Very, very dead. They're led by what looked like a dark knight. The one from my dream, huh? That's bad. Hear what? N nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Let's just keep on moving ahead. And again, they show her running off, but she's still in the party, so I could leave and go out of town, do what I want, and still achieve stuff. Okay, so this is the sacred wall, huh? I don't know why they have to show where we have to touch. You think they just go the entire distance? Yeah, apparently I'm gonna have to pass this point. And great, there's giant spiders over here. And they can poison us with freaking attacks. Great. I ain't got time to cure that right now. Mainly because I don't have anything to do it with. Man, I'm not going to be able to fight here for very long. Am I? Gosh darn it. Ugh. I need antidotes. I hate when the game doesn't start you off with any of those. Because obviously, since they're random encounters, I can't exactly, you know, keep going back and forth to finish them all off and work my way through or something. Like in some other stuff I was working on. I very much need, you know, some sort of cure item. And I can only afford two. Great. Hopefully more of the enemies are non-spiders, so I don't have to worry about being poisoned every single time I fight something. Otherwise, I'm going to have to hope I get leveled up real fast. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to be a spider fest. I mean, they don't always poison, thankfully, but... Ah, that attack was wasted. Because the target, you know, died before I could get the second hit. And unlike another game, it doesn't get passed. Darn. It's, it's bad when you're making me think Shenenja is better just because it passes on my hits there, man. Okay, no spells. So I'm going to have to use up my antidote. Man, I would have preferred she'd be a healer that could use some MP to like, purify at least. It'd make getting through here a lot easier, now wouldn't it? Because I can't, you know, advance if I'm taking that much damage from poison. <sighs> Maybe if I use the healing option at the end and then come back and buy better gear and take no damage from hits, I won't get poisoned. In, in some games, that's how that works, oddly enough. Like, the attacks have to hurt you in order to apply a status effect. 
Like, uh, I took advantage of that with a uh, shit ninja against a uh, uh, the final gym leader when I was doing the bug run in um, Gen 3 in Pokemon Ruby because I could, you know, was effectively untouchable. Oof. Like he, he could throw out water pulse for the confusion, but it didn't do anything because you know he couldn't inflict damage. He couldn't use uh, the confusion aspect of water pulse either. It's really convenient. So, save some money and try again, you know? <sighs> Strong attack was learned, huh? It's not what I'm worried about, it's the poison effect that's killing me right now. Come on. I just need some better gear here. I can't try that idea out on um, him yet, because he's still not immune. They usually don't target him anyway. I don't get why. They seem to really hate Serenity. Like, is she legendary for her weaving skills or something, so the spiders are pissed off? Like, not only does she think she's better at weaving things than us, she's proved it. Therefore, we hate her. Like, okay, spiders. Not to mention, why are they so huge, man? Well, now... Yeah, I would. Man, it's gonna be hard to get that kind of money. Okay... Get a hat, I guess. Um, headgear, why not? The fact we have to grind this out like 50 crystals at a time really sucks. I suppose I could try running away. But I don't like that plan. Uh, okay, slimes. Okay, that'll be a bit easier, maybe. Maybe the spiders appear in the early parts. So oh, those uh, slimes hit harder than you'd expect, man. A potion? I don't need a potion. Potions are nowhere near as useful as getting rid of uh, status effects would be. And do they keep targeting Serenity because she has the lower defense stat or something? If so, that's fairly smart. I'll give them that. Okay, that's not an option. You can just go forward, huh? Well, apparently someone was taking out the guards. Though, it looks like there's a bunch of bats around. No wonder. As we all know, regular soldiers can't fight bats. That's why they're all terrified of Batman. Really, he's the, the worst of all things, man. I hate those gate effects. They're usually not worth it, and having a double door like that looks really dumb. <laughs> I won't lie. They obviously want it to be really wide to make it more obvious it's an opening, but it still looks stupid. <laughs> like, why would you have a door next to your door? They just go into the same room. Well, I guess not all the soldiers are dead. Come on, guys, that barely tickles. Stick to someone, I'll actually feel it. Well, now. 250 crystals were found. Can't do anything with these guys, they're all dead. He's like, you can't interact with them. They're dead, Jim. It's horrible, man. And take some more crystals. Eh, gotta walk around the body. You think they just let me walk over as a sign of disrespect? They're like, no. You cannot disrespect this dead man. You must walk around. Can I just push him in the water or something? They're like, no! 
Oh, at least this doesn't have the weird controls of a uh, doll rune, man. I hate how they got the shift key set up to run. You know, because the movie I use the WASD keys, so it's really awkward on the hand. And I don't have any antidotes, and those things don't seem to drop them. Oh, I have two antidotes. Never mind. I was mistaken. Well, a leather top was found, huh? Problem is, I already bought one. Well, I guess I'll stop here. It's, it's been 20 minutes, and I'm kind of hard-pressed for time if I want to get all the episodes done I want to, so... Doing some shorter stuff. Next time, we'll finish up this place, I'm sure, though.